Hello, Evan Rain here playing Cattle and Crops. Beautiful day in the game. Yeah, it's, it's raining, Evan. It is raining here again. Anyway, since last episode, we finished up harvesting on field 22, I believe it was here. I uh, get confused on my field numbers here between this game and Farming Simulator. And uh, Anyway, um, yeah. Field 22 here, Evan, is finished. Hired Worker did a really great job on that, I would say. Uh, kept me unloaded. It does look like the Hired Worker waits time completely full, but hey, that, that's fine. It works. Uh, the hired worker does not unload me when I'm finished with the field, though, from the looks of it. So, yes, this is where the hired worker stops. So let's go ahead and uh, unload the last little bit of rye we got on the combine here a minute. Get it lined up anyway. There we go. And stop. And then what we'll probably do, I'm just go ahead and maybe uh, fast forward some time here. We'll get rid of the uh, rain that's currently coming down and uh, see what's what we can do for some uh, field work here. So last episode, we turned on some... Actually, that's not the right one. Uh, we turned on some settings here that looks like it's going to make it a little bit more complicated, a little bit harder maybe, maybe a little more interesting. We'll see once here. So before, everyone, when it came to fertilizer, if I understood it correctly, the fertilizer did not matter. Now, everyone, we turned on the settings so it does matter. Wow, it looks like we're a little over-fertilized on field 14, so no fertilizer being put down on that field. No influence in the current growth stage. So I'm not sure what that means. Looks like we're also looking pretty good on, like, everything on this field. So I don't know if we have to do anything for it, do we? We just plant it? Could be. Uh, field 22 is looking about the same there as well, one. Uh, potassium says 81, which is in the green, which I don't quite... Uh, okay, so if we go back up here, I'm going to... Oh, come on, let me... Uh, one moment. There we go. Uh, so potassium says 182. Seems like we need some more potassium on this field. However, it's in the green here, so I'm not quite sure what to make of that, to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't know. Don't know. Uh, rest of the numbers here look pretty good as well, I thought. So everyone, it, it could be we're just like ready to plant here. I was going to run the plow across the field. Uh, still plan on maybe doing that here, at least for one of the fields. We'll see once here. Go ahead and uh, put the pipe away and get the combine parked up here. I wonder if it'll fit inside this bunker. That uh, might be a little tight. Might be a little tight. No, that's that's uh, that's probably a little too tight. Okay, won't bother trying that. We'll just uh, park it up alongside the bunker here or something out of the way. Never did figure out why the light is on that combine yet, did I? What do we got here? Um... Close hatch, straw sparks active, straw discharge. No, I don't see any options for pipeline. I mean, I guess the pipeline's just on. I don't remember it being on before, but uh, maybe it was. Maybe it was. I just never noticed it. That combine stay on. I think it does, doesn't it? Nope. That's not the right one. How about the... Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. I think it's off now. Uh, what happened last time, everyone, is the uh, combine actually ran out of fuel. Uh, it was just sitting in the yard there, and all of a sudden I had a message pop up. Combine's out of fuel. Or I, it was a class. It was something, something. Out of fuel or something. like, what? It's just sitting there. I'm not even doing anything. And it's like, oh, and the engine must be running yet. So uh, I might have to be a little more careful about that. I'm watching uh, my like my fuel level and making sure I shut vehicles off, that type of thing. Apparently, if you just get out, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't shut the fuel off. Speaking of fuel, what is my fuel level on this thing here, by the way? Uh, looking for fuel level. Is there not a fuel level on here? Hmm. Am I, uh, am I missing something here, everyone? Where's my fuel level? Eh, yeah, I'm probably missing something. There's something on the screens here? No idea. Well, anyway, we'll go ahead and, uh, sell last little bit of rye here. Which, actually, where were we taking this rye? That was going down to... Pretty sure that was going down to... What, what was the name of the place here again? Mark that on the map. Harbor Grain Traders, right? Yep. Make sure we got a little bit of a like a line, GPS line to follow here. Still looking for my fuel level yet. Am I missing something? Besides the obvious, you know? Oh well, whatever. Anyway, just a reminder, if you haven't uh, done so already, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up there. Uh, say what? Okay. 
What was that? No idea. Okay, did I? Maybe I bumped the tab key. I don't know. Possible. That was weird. Uh, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up there. Always uh, very much appreciated. And, of course, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, look out, rabbit, run. I think that was a rabbit anyway. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that there as well. Always uh, very much appreciated. And, of course, uh, make sure you turn on the uh, bell notification there as well when you do subscribe. And, or if you're already subscribed, make sure you turn on the bell notification. That way you get notified when the latest, greatest Artie Allen video goes live. And also, you know, keep uh, commenting. Let me know, Evan, how are you liking the uh, cattle and crop series here so far? I'm not sure how much more we're going to play on this. Again, I mean, there's not a whole lot of content in the game here. But uh, as I've said before, what is here seems to be really good. Really enjoying it here so far. Uh, graphics, especially on the field, seem to be really good. Uh, I think maybe the biggest thing that's missing on the harvesting side of the graphics, someone is like an animation on the header. I think that would really like uh, just polish that off and just uh, really set it apart if you ask me. Because again, the rest of the field on the graphics look really good. Like, the, the field graphics have one are great, if you ask me. Especially when you compare it to Farming Simulator, maybe. Like I said, I think the, really the only spot where it really is like, uh, this isn't quite, uh, quite as nice is the uh, graphics on the unloading, well, on the, on the harvesting of the header. Uh, why we no unload? Missing something here. Hey, look at that. We got a HUD. Where'd that come from? That's what we're missing. I when the HUD was missing. Why was the HUD missing? And why can I not unload? Okay, you can set the unload side. That's cool. Why can I not unload here? Am I missing something? Oh my goodness. Is it going to be one of those episodes where I'm just missing the obvious here again? Let's Okay, let's try this again. I know we don't have a whole lot of rye here, but... I'm going around. Okay, I've done this before, but why is this not unloading? Hey, look at this. It doesn't rain underneath the uh, overhang here. That's cool. Yo, Farming Simulator, you watching this? It's not raining under here. Hmm. That is weird. Okay. Actually, let's try uh, connecting and reconnecting the trailer here. Disconnect, reconnect. There we go. Don't know if that'll make a difference or not, but uh, might as well try. I wonder... Actually, I wonder uh, the mission-wise. Here's the, something with the mission maybe messing this up. Go back to our tasks here. Tasks. Harvest in progress. Let's go ahead and uh, just delete that one. It is technically finished. I wonder if maybe something with that. Everyone was kind of not set right or something. Ah, there we go. I bet you that's what it was. That's probably what it was. Okay, start. Oh, there we go. Now I got it. Want to unload that last little bit there? Uh, Money-wise, we got, got forty-nine thousand dollars, so we're not uh, not too bad, I don't think, for the uh, money we made off that uh, field there. Uh, that is off of both fields, by the way. Obviously, we'd like to have uh, quite a bit more than that, but oh well, is what it is. That does, I think, actually give us enough money to probably buy the field. I'd like to buy if we want to. Uh, I'm just not sure what we we'll do with a hired worker, though. I might have to, uh... I'm debating now if I should, like, just fire our current hired worker. Nothing against the current hired worker, but, uh, fire her so we don't have to pay for her during the winter. So I think I want it cost us, like, $2,000 per month. Uh, do the math on that one. That's gonna be, like, half the money we just made is gonna go to our hired worker, uh, which we only need for, like, a couple of days. I don't know if there's, like, any other way to making money more continuously in this game at this point, other than animals, which we have not gotten to the animals yet. I'm gonna have to see once. Maybe we'll, uh... We do that here at some point. Let me clear out the map here a minute. Think I can make my way back to the farm without the map? Uh, we're going to find out. Shop's right around the corner here, so I should be able to make it back to the farm. 
gives you the one route I do know fairly well when it's the route from the shop up to the farm. Although, again, with this game, everyone, another really cool feature. When you uh, buy your equipment, you do have the option of where you want it delivered to. That is pretty cool. Hint, hint, giants. Hint, hint. Don't know if they'll take any hints or not. Uh, whoa, whoa, let me, there we go. Look out. Coming through. Is that my road there? Yes, that was. I thought it was. Driving through the field. In the rain. What could go wrong? I'm saying it's much, much quieter in the cab here, isn't it? Much quieter. Look out, rabbit. Yeah, instead of a squirrel, I mean, it's, a, it's a rabbit here, apparently, in this game. Actually, I don't think I've seen squirrels in this game at all. Then mostly rabbits, cats, dogs. Mostly rabbits out in the field. Uh, the cat and the dog are up by the farm. Okay, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, park this trailer up here. Whoa, put on brakes. I'm just going to uh, park it in the bunker. I'm a nice, easy drive through ability here. Okay, there we go. And then uh, let's go uh, visit the shop. Actually, should we uh, fast forward? Maybe we'll fast forward some time here. What time? We are currently at um, 7, 8, so July 8. I'm curious I'm gonna, as to whether or not we can like plant more crops and have enough time to harvest them, because it's only July. Kind of tempted maybe just to try it here. But I don't like this rain, so let's maybe uh, go back in a first person view. I don't like the third person. Uh third person view on that. Let's go, how about we just go two days. Sleep. See if that's enough to at least uh, get rid of the rain here, everyone. Based on the window, I think it was. Good. At least, uh, unlike farming sim, it rains literally all year. And keep in mind, when I say all year, I'm, I'm talking like a growth cycle. So, for an entire growth cycle, which takes, what, about 24 to 36 hours in farming simulator normally, unless you're playing with the seasons mod. You know, sometimes rain for that entire growth cycle, which I find to be a bit ridiculous. Okay, let's uh, go visit the shop here a minute. So, for equipment here, category we want plows. And I figure we're probably going to go with that one right there. That one does the lower... Uh, this one here does the lower soil density. This one also does some stuff there. Okay. I'm, I'm just assuming everyone uh, more... Here is better, I'm assuming, right? I don't know. Front attachers. Capabilities. Field work. Plow. 150 horsepower, which we should have that, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, buy that. Actually, no, wait, let's uh, want it delivered to the farm here. Buy. Perfect. Uh, to rent it for 24 hours will be $720. Not really that great of a deal when you consider that it's only uh, $3,795 to buy the whole piece of equipment. But anyway, uh, out of curiosity, while we're here, is there any other equipment we need? Any other equipment? I wouldn't mind giving the chopper a try. That's $400,000, though, so uh, that might be a while. Might be a while before we get to that one. Uh, Cornhead might be nice. Uh, don't think we'll be affording that, though. And then we would have to add on the row crop attachment to our current planter. Which would be what thirty-five thousand for that? Okay, so thirty-five thousand plus we would need the header. So we're looking at about a hundred thousand we need for that job. Not sure what what is this one here? Assuming this is a cedar, right? Maybe not. I'm not sure. Looks like it should be a cedar, but I could be wrong on that. Unless uh, European equipment have one. You never know. Self-made tow. Oh, there's a tow bar. Oh, great. And a bumper bar. Cool. wonder if I should get one of those. Maybe I should. Put a bumper bar on my track. That might be safer. Uh, anyway, let's grab the uh, MB track here. Should have enough horsepower, right?
Okay, and I'm gonna get a hired worker set up for this. I feel like, I figure I'm gonna go to field 14 here. Okay, so go back to our task screen, and I'm not sure what up the quest here. There's no quest, watchable quest, all quests available, all. Hmm, I guess, I don't know. No idea, but no idea. Anyway, back to task here, new task. Oh, uh, let's see what that's going to be, field work, right? Probably field work, drivers, driver. Gonna have our Dijana Dittmer. Vehicle the MB track. Uh, I think that's a three point hitch. Yes, it is. There it is. I was gonna say, nope, maybe not, but yep, it is. Okay, select field 14, field entrance, southwest, destination, farm. Um, yeah, that should be pretty good, I think. There we go. Yes, yes, getting out of the way. So when it comes to plows, I mean, this is more of a ripper-style plow here for a uh, deep, deep tillage work. I wonder how long it's going to take for the hired worker to finish this field here. That might take a while. And it sounds like it's taking just a little bit of power, too. Probably wash that tractor sometime. Yeah, we'll get to that sometime. I was gonna push shift to run. Everyone's like, wait a minute, no. <laughs> shift actually slows us down in this game. Okay, well, the hired worker's working on that. I'm thinking maybe some fertilizer for field 22 might be in order here. So let's go back to F1 here. Go back to our field planning. Owned 20. It'd be nice to have enough of a default to owned. It doesn't, unfortunately, but that would be nice. I'm thinking, everyone, we still need some more potassium here for field 22. It looks like we're looking pretty good nitrogen. Actually, when do we plant the field? When we plant the field, that we might be able to maybe take care of that. So I'm thinking, everyone, we're going to maybe go ahead and plant the field and see if we can get another crop off the field. Let's give it a try, right? What can it hurt? We're sitting on July 10 here. So we got July, August, September, October. October, maybe? I'm not sure how much you can harvest on this map, so... Or how late? With, I, mean, I shouldn't really say the map as much as the game. We got NPK in here. I probably ideally don't need the P on it, everyone, so... I see, like, a list of fertilizers without having to drive down there. Hmm. Or can we just get some K? Just some K fertilizer might be good. Or just plant it with NPK. We might just do that. We might just plant it with NPK. And we got rye seed. Uh, you know, we'll just stick with rye. That's what's in there. We'll plant another uh, field of rye here. That only took, oh, uh, was it two months to ripen? So if we go to uh, September, when this field should be ready to be planted again, right? That's the way I'm looking at it anyway. Don't know if this is going to work or not. So maybe I'm a, before you try this in your game, <laughs> maybe you want to watch next episode and let me know if, or uh, we'll see once if this even works. I probably only plant just the one field. Maybe I should have picked a smaller field. Yeah, why am I testing this on the big field? Oh, well, we're testing on the big field. Are we planting? I think we're planting, right? Then also, I have one we need to turn on the fertilizer here. So fertilizer, turn on fertilizing system, yes. Yep, we are planting. Perfect. And then some uh, GPS would probably be in order for this as well. So let's get that going here a minute. So show lines. Get that centered on the tractor. And then we're going to rotate that. Looks like about 93 degrees. Looks pretty close to me. Lock on the steering. Lock in the cruise control. And away we go. Bumped up to like 20 kilometers an hour for some high speed planting.
For those of you doing the uh, kilometers to miles per hour conversion, everyone, I always do it the simple way. I just double it. I know that's not actually right. Uh, 10 miles per hour is probably more, more like 16, 17 kilometers an hour. It's not 20, but again, I'm going to keep the math simple. Double it. It's close. It's close. Not quite, but... I'm not sure, by the way, I don't know if there's another way to turn on the fertilizer or not. Um, what I've always found, or at least the, what I've discovered last time around, I mean, if we go through the radial menu, I think that's what that's called anyway, that seems to be the way to turn it on, I think. Also, I've mentioned I, mean, I do really like the implementation of the GPS in this game here. For the most part, every now and then it is a little bit annoying because when you're trying to turn all of a sudden, the GPS will take back over and the next thing you'll be swinging into a tree or something. Just It's something you kind of have to get used to. And I think I've kind of gotten used to it here at this point. It seems to work quite well. Just got to make sure I remember everyone if I'm turning. Just, just keep bumping the turn here just a little bit. And then once we're uh, straightened back out of one, GPS automatically just takes back over and away we go. There we go, GPS takes back over, turn cruise control back on, and down the field we go again. I think I'm going to have to probably end up getting more uh, fertilizer and, uh, well, seed might be close. I mean, we might be close on seed. Fertilizer looks like we'll definitely need some more fertilizer. Don't know if I have any more in storage or not. If not, we'll probably have to run down. Oh, what was the name of that place again? Whatever the place that was, that was down. Not that one. The cooperative. Might have to run down there. Get some more seed here again. Uh, and fertilizer. Probably should get both while we're at it. At least on this field, there's quite a bit of room to uh, turn around here. That's kind of nice. Okay, well, now I think with that, we're going to wrap this episode up here. Seems like a pretty good spot to wrap it up. We're going to continue uh, planting this field, continue uh, plowing up field 14. And hopefully next episode, we'll come back. This field should be planted here. And we'll see once what field 14 is looking like with a plow as well. And then we'll probably look at uh, skipping some time here and see once if this field will grow. I'm also thinking I'll probably let our hired worker go. And we can rehire her once we get to harvest time. Otherwise, it looks like she just costs us like $2,000 every time. And then, uh, at least at this point, we really don't have that much money. So anyway, on that note, thanks for watching. Comments or questions, be sure to leave them down below. And until next time.